Hey guys, I hope you're ready for this video because it might get you pretty fired up. Today we're talking about Andrew Cuomo, the governor of New York, who, thanks to the Biden administration, may be about to get away with one of the biggest scandals of this century. Let's break it down. But first, welcome back to Breaking Grad, a series with me, Brad Palumbo, where we break down the big picture issues in our politics, separating narrative and fiction from fact so you can figure out what's really going on. Today, we're talking about Andrew Cuomo and his botched handling of the COVID-19 pandemic. We have to start with a little bit of context. Right at the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, we pretty quickly realized that elderly people were particularly at risk of dying from the virus. But for some reason, in the state of New York, Governor Cuomo decided to institute an order mandating that nursing homes, which are full of elderly people, right, accept patients who had tested positive for COVID-19. This was a recipe for disaster, and disaster is exactly what it led to. Because of this reckless policy, thousands of elderly New Yorkers died of COVID-19 who otherwise may have avoided the virus. We'll never know for sure, but health experts, nurses, and doctors alike all scream bloody murder when this was happening, because it was so obviously foolish. But Governor Cuomo thought that he knew it all, downplayed their concerns, and just went through with it to deadly consequence. Now Cuomo did eventually rescind this order, even though he didn't really admit any fault, of course, he's a politician. But I do want to make one point. It's important that in such a crazy situation like the COVID-19 pandemic with politicians, we should give them grace. Mistakes are going to happen. They're in a once in a lifetime crisis. No one really knows how to handle anything perfectly. So yeah, sometimes our elected officials are going to screw up. That's okay and I concede that. And if Cuomo had just realized that early on and apologized and accepted it, we would be talking about a very different story. But that's not what he did. And he decided to cover up the crisis and make it a million times worse. In an effort to save face for their boss, members of the Cuomo administration basically fudged the numbers, trying to make it look like fewer nursing home residents had died. What they did was tricky, but actually pretty simple. They said that nursing home patients who contracted COVID in the nursing home, but then went to the hospital and died there, well, they weren't technically counted as nursing home deaths. So, according to the Cuomo's official data, it, only a few thousand people had actually died in nursing homes. But that was not the full story, and it was intentionally done, a Cuomo aide has since admitted, intentionally done to help the governor evade scrutiny. An investigation by the New York Attorney General, who is herself a Democrat, by the way, found that the real number was 50% higher than what Cuomo was claiming. In fact, more than 13,000 New Yorkers died in nursing homes, many of them because of this policy. These are the cold, hard facts, and Cuomo can't escape them. Or can he? While we were all talking about this and trying to figure out exactly what happened to these New Yorkers, Cuomo was out doing basically a fan tour for liberal media where they would fawn over him and talk about how amazing he was. Some creepy people even started referring to themselves as Cuomo sexuals, and I don't want to know what that even means. He also wrote a book, yes, a book, while he was supposed to be handling this crisis, about how amazing his leadership was, and made five million dollars off of it. Genuinely, you can't make this up. If you wanted to parody out of touch big government politicians and their corruption, this story would sound honestly not even believable, but it's all true. Now, despite this series of events and how crazy and egregious it really sounds, the Biden administration, the Department of Justice, just announced that it will not proceed with a civil investigation of what Governor Cuomo did. That's right, they're not pursuing a civil case. This has understandably prompted a fair bit of outrage because people want Cuomo to be held accountable. But to be clear, it's not necessarily the end of the story. As Andy McCarthy pointed out for National Review, there could theoretically still be a federal criminal probe or criminal charges, although that seems unlikely. And more importantly, there's still work being done by the US attorney in New York to actually crack down and investigate this. So there's still some hope. But unfortunately, it looks highly unlikely that the Biden administration will actually hold Cuomo accountable and investigate how his mismanagement may have contributed to the deaths of thousands of New Yorkers. Basically, it looks like Cuomo might just get away with it. All of this is maddening, I know, but it shouldn't actually be surprising. You see, when we debate capitalism versus socialism, big government versus free markets, 
we often unfortunately frame the conversation as what businessmen and consumers and workers will do pursuing their own self-interest and greed versus what the government bureaucrats and politicians will do if they step in and ostensibly uh, intervene for the public interest. But in reality, greed and self-interest are just part of human nature, and that's just as true for politicians as it is for business people in a marketplace. So we can't expect politicians to actually act in the public's interest. They're always ultimately going to have their own interests, ambitions, and desires in mind. So Cuomo, while doing some pretty terrible things, is actually doing just what you'd expect. A politician, which self-selects for ambitious and shameless and unprincipled people, to do. This kind of abuse of power and cover-up is a feature, not a bug, of big government. If we want to crack down on these kinds of terrible abuses of power, the only thing we can really do is reduce the size and scope of the government itself. Thanks for watching this video guys, and go ahead and give it a like if you can. It helps us break through the YouTube algorithm, as mysterious and unknowable as it may be. And on that note, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. We'll be doing these Breaking Brad series at least once every week. And turn on the bell notifications so that you actually see my content, and we don't even have to rely on the algorithm in the first place. And with that, I'll see you all in the next video.